Hey guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little PR unboxing from Stylevana. Now, if you're not familiar with Stylevana, they are essentially a one-stop shop online for the trendiest in Asian skincare as well as fashion. They offer a wide range of affordable products and selection, and they also offer the latest in tips and tricks when it comes to the Asian world of fashion and beauty. So, we're gonna be seeing what they sent me here today. I think it is their monthly specials according to my skin type. So let's go ahead, unbox these products. I'm gonna be trying them out for the next week and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. All right, so here is everything that came in the box. Let me go ahead and open this bubble wrap portion. So what we have here is the highest rated monthly products according to my skin type, which is dry to normal. So the first product that was sent to me is the Blueberry Rebalancing Lotion, and this is by the brand Innisfree. Now, you'll have to forgive me if I am not pronouncing some of these names correctly, but I will show you guys all kind of what it looks like. Okay, the next item is Vita B3 Source. It's for, um, the concern would be uneven skin tone. The benefit is to lighten skin and dark spots. And it's by the brand Tia, apostrophe M. So TM, Tia M. Um, again, you'll have to forgive me. Let's go ahead and open this box actually and see what the bottle itself looks like. Okay, cool. So it's in a nice brown glass bottle, very apothecary-esque. Okay. All right, next up we have, ooh, in this bottle, just with like the, what it's made out of on the outside is feeling very organic. This is the Day by Day Cleansing Gel, and this is by the brand Sioris. Okay, oh, wow, very interesting, okay. So that is what it looks like. Very organic looking overall. It looks like their motto is the power in you or their slogan. Okay. I'm going to put some of this stuff in the box as I go. All right. Next we have Avocado Relief Essence Toner. This is by the brand Fruitia, derived from fruit. So I'm actually very excited to try an Asian essence toner. Um, I've just heard that they're so much different than they are in the U.S., so looking forward to trying this one and it looks like it might be in a pretty cool bottle so let's go ahead and cut this open and take a look yeah look how cool that is literally the color of an avocado all right and then lastly we have Rovectin Skin Essentials Aqua Soothing UV Protector SPF 50 PA++++, which is the highest PA rating you can have. And you all know I love trying out a new sunscreen. This says it is an advanced formula, hypoallergenic. It has a non-chemical filter. And again, it's by the brand Rovectin. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what the bottle looks like. Okay. All right, so overall, it looks like I have a cleansing gel to try out. Um, and then I have a essence toner to try out. I also have a um, Vita B3 source serum to put on, as well as a rebalancing lotion that is supposed to be blueberry and a sunscreen. Essentially, I have everything I would need for a full skincare routine when it comes to uh, the specifics of my skin, which again is dry to normal. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be trying all of these out for the next week, and then I'm gonna come back and let you guys know my thoughts. Now, there will be a discount code in the description box below, so be sure to check that out as well as the entire Style Mono website because you may or may not have the exact same skin type as I do, but they definitely have something for you. And don't forget to try out their fashion as well. Good morning. So if it's not obvious, I clearly just woke up and we're going to go ahead and test out some of these products. 
This is basically going to be me putting them on for the first time and then following this, I will let you guys know my thoughts. So just getting the water on my face, I am going to of course start off with their cleanser and the cleanser I will be using is the Sioris Day by Day Cleansing Gel. Now this is supposed to convert to foam. I'm gonna use two pumps but would say you could probably use one. And as always, I'm gonna go in with my Luna Mini 3 Cleanser. This is by Ferreo. And you know, I wanted to use this because I wanted to compare this face cleanser equally to my other cleanser, which I also use with the same device. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the Tia M Vita B3 Source Serum. Now, in case you're wondering, B3 is niacinamide. So many of you will know that I already use a niacinamide solution in my routine. It is by the brand The Ordinary. So this is a new brand I have not yet tried, but is essentially the same concept as what I already use. Next up, we have the Frutia Avocado Relief Essence Toner. Now, um, this I am basically squeezing into my hand. You definitely wanna do more of a shaking motion. I mean, this time it seemed like I got the proper amount out, but if you squeeze it a little too hard, you can get way too much out and then you just have excess on your hands, which is quite frankly, a waste of money. Um, so this Essence Toner compared to toners in the US is more of a thin lotion substance compared to toners uh, again in the US which are more of a watery or alcoholic kind of substance next up we have the Innisfree blueberry rebalancing lotion now this contains the antioxidants from blueberry fruit extract as well as squalene um, as you can see it's kind of in that same type of bottle as the uh, toner essence was in so you know I am squeezing it but again this is the exact same top that would do better with a shaking type of motion As the last step in my skincare routine, we have the Rovectin Skin Essentials Aqua Soothing UV Protector. This is SPF 50, which is a great SPF, and it is also PA++++, which is the highest PA rating you can have. This is supposed to be an advanced formula. It's supposed to be hypoallergenic, and it has a non-chemical filter. Now, as you can see, as I just put it on, because it is a mineral sunscreen, you know, it is very white at first, so it's definitely going to take me a little bit of time to try and rub this in. So at this point, I've given that sunscreen plenty of time to sink in, but I'm basically showing you guys some of the white cast that remains, particularly around my hairline and then also um, around my mouth area as well. Hey guys, all right, so I am back after a week of testing out these products from Style Vana. I'm coming at you today with no makeup on my face because I really want everyone to get kind of an intimate look at my skin. I wanna talk about a couple of things that here happened this week uh, with introducing these new products to my skin. We're gonna go ahead and go product by product and get into it right now. 
So uh, number one is gonna be the Sioris Day by Day Cleanser. In the video, I used two pumps of this. You can definitely just use one pump unless you have makeup, then you probably want two pumps. Um, but you can see after one week of use about how much of this cleanser I use. So this cleanser is 23 US dollars, which for me personally is definitely more than I'm used to spending on a cleanser. You know, that being said, because of how much you can see I used after a week, I would say this could last someone who washes their face both morning and night two to two and a half months. Now, you know, there are also plenty of people who simply, you know, splash water on their face in the morning. And if that's the case, it will definitely last you longer. Now, this is a low pH plant-based all natural cleanser. So you definitely are gonna wanna use this up. It's recommended within six months anyway. That being said, you know, I am used to using CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser on my face, which essentially feels like you're washing your face with lotion. Now, as, a, as an avid Tretinone user, that is great for me, but I know that there are plenty of people who, when they use, you know, kind of those lotion-y feeling cleansers, they feel like their skin is not clean. Um, that being said, because I, you know, am used to that type of a cleanser, this cleanser, as gentle as it is, definitely dried my skin out a little bit more than I would have liked. I would say if you have sensitive skin, but you have oily to combo skin, you would love this cleanser. It's not as aggressive as other gel or foam cleansers that I've used. It is a very thin consistency and it immediately converts to foam on the face. So it's definitely a very enjoyable experience when you're washing your face. It was a little bit of a treat for me since like I said, I am used to using a cleanser that feels like lotion on my skin. So. Even though, you know, lotion type cleansers don't really feel like they're cleaning your skin, they are. This is going to give you more of that clean feeling, but for me personally, it just dried my skin out a little too much. So I will most likely be giving this to my husband or one of my girlfriends. So that is the first of the products that I reviewed. The second is by Tia M. It is their Vita B3 Source Serum. Now, but prior to using this, I was using the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Plus Sink Solution on my face, which I have raved about and loved. Um, this serum, just the feel of it, I would say I like better than the Ordinary Niacinamide Solution. And by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm talking about Niacinamide, B3 is Niacinamide. So they are the same thing. Now, by the Ordinary Niacinamide Solution, when I put it on my face, Every once in a while, I can get a little bit of a bite or kind of like a, a quick sting to my face when I put it on, which I did not get at all with this. So in fact, I looked this up because I was like, well, maybe it just contains less niacinamide than the ordinary solution. But in fact, it contains the exact same amount, which is 10% niacinamide. So um, I may actually switch over to this as my new kind of go-to B3 or niacinamide solution. Now, this, dependent upon where you look online, can range from $14.76 all the way up to $32. So, uh, and with that, I believe you get 40 milliliters, so 1.35 fluid ounces. So this was definitely something I liked. You can see after a week, I don't know if you actually can see that because the bottle is brown, but I'm just gonna put my finger right there, my nail right there. That is how much of the solution I have used, so and that's only using it in the morning. I do not use it in the evening. All right, so that is number two. Number three is the Frutia Avocado Relief Essence Toner. This was probably out of all of the products I tried, my absolute favorite. In fact, I think I could say I will definitely be incorporating this into my routine um, moving forward. Now, the reason why I did, I'm basically doing this in order. So the reason why I did the cleanser then the Vita B3 solution, then the toner. So people in the US may feel a little bit confused by um, that order of things because in the US toners are just very different than they are elsewhere. So this toner is more of a lotion-y texture as you guys saw in the video. And generally, whenever you're doing your skincare, you want to apply from the thinnest to thickest layers. So serums are all gonna be first and lotion-y products are gonna be second. Generally in the US, toners are like, look like alcohol or like, you know, water-based solution, which would be thinner than a serum. So usually in that sense, you would put it on before the serum. In this case, 
the serum is thinner than the toner essence, okay? So I did the cleanser first, then I did the Vita B3 serum, and then I did this toning essence, and I have to say I absolutely love it. It took me a little bit of time to get used to um, this type of a top. You know, I like wanted to squeeze it. You really just want to kind of shake this out um, to get the proper amount. If you squeeze, it can end up coming out way too much and then you just wasted a bunch of product, which I did a couple of times. So then I basically just lathered it on the rest of my body, which I'm sure was great for my skin anyway. So I'm okay with that. But that was probably my favorite product overall. It retails for about 20 US dollars. Next product in line is going to be the Innisfree Blueberry Rebalancing Lotion. I'm not quite sure if you can see about how much I've used here after a week. Um, this is essentially supposed to regulate your skin's pH and balance out you know, your body's or your skin's uh, oil to water ratio um, and really just leave you with an overall comfortable feeling. I actually really liked this lotion, but I have to say it left me with a little less juicy effect than my CeraVe lotion leaves me with. Now, that being said, if you've tried CeraVe lotion and you feel greasy at the end of the day or it's a little too juicy for you, you will love this lotion. It's light, it dries down, but it leaves your skin feeling super hydrated. So again, because I am a Tretinone user, I like kind of that juicy effect on my face a little bit. It just feels extra moisturizing. Not that this is not moisturizing, it most certainly is. Um, but this is definitely going to dry down a little bit. It also has squalene in it, as well as the antioxidant from the blueberry extract, which is awesome. And this retails for $13.50. <sighs> the last product, and I'm sure you guys probably could read <laughs> my face as I was putting it on, is the Rovectin uh, SPF 50 PA++++. So this is like an all... Uh, mineral sunscreen and guys I just did not like this so this is where I'm going to kind of zoom in on my face or my skin um, see that pimple right there and then look at this one so I have not had a pimple on my face for months and a big part of that is attributed to my tretinone use now that being said this pimple right over here and it is that time of the month right now so this pimple would usually be like standard something that I would get, but I never, never, nor have I really ever in my life broken out in this area right here. And I do have a pimple right there. And I attribute those things to this sunscreen. I don't know what it is, but it's like anytime I try a mineral sunscreen, it breaks me out, which is bizarre. And you would think maybe it would be the opposite that a chemical sunscreen would break me out. But this, I don't like for a few different reasons. I mean, first of all, it's like 23 US dollars, which is probably, you know, standard to a little bit more expensive for, I think this is 50 mils. Yep, 1.7 fluid ounces, which is 50 milliliters. Uh, 50 milliliters, I would say, is a pretty standard size for a face, neck, and chest sunscreen. The white cast on this does you know go away if you apply a small amount but if you apply a small amount I feel like you know you're not getting the SPF that's on the label you know you're supposed to be applying two tablespoons um, and at least one tablespoon to your face just your face neck and chest together so in order to not have a white cast from this I had to apply less than one tablespoon and you know just in general I felt like I could just feel feel it sitting on the top of my skin, which I really, really don't like that feeling. Now, that being said, if you are someone who gets very irritated by chemical filters and you can only use mineral or physical sunscreens, uh, this might be an okay option for you. Um, you know, if you rub it in really, really well, you won't have a white cast. I would say it's much less of a white cast than many of the US sunscreens that I've tried. But at this point, I've tried so many Asian sunscreens that if I ever try an Asian sunscreen that gives me a white cast, I immediately don't like it because I know how amazing the chemical filters are with Asian sunscreens. Now, you can certainly be the judge, but again, it is a fairly expensive sunscreen, $23 for 50 milliliters. So this was just not 
something that I really felt I enjoyed or would incorporate into my skin routine. Overall though, I will say it was a lot of fun to try out all of these products from Style Ivana. Again, they are a very impressive website. They have just the widest array of products um, and also, you know, fashion as well. So it was very fun for me. I would definitely check them out and if you want to check out any of these products that I've been using on my skin, I will include links in the description box below as well as a discount code that you can use. So that is my final review of all of the products I tried out from Style Ivana. Uh, thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed already, please do so. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.